What's going on all my toy collectors and movie fans out there? You know who it is. It's your boy Ox and welcome to the Cave of Wonders. Now here on this channel we're all about the TMC. Toys, movies, and customs. That's why today we're going to be taking a look at some really cool theater merchandise. We're going to be taking a look at the Blue Beetle Bugship Collectible Popcorn Container exclusively at Cinemark Theaters. Now if you guys don't have a Cinemark near you, you guys can also find it at ShopCinemark.com. That's where I was able to purchase it at for about $25 plus shipping. Now let's go ahead and crack this baby open and take a better look at it. Okay, now taking a look at the front of the box, I just want to let you guys know that if you guys have a Cinemark Theater near you and you guys go in there to go buy this, it might not come in this box right here. It might just be taken out and displayed on the counter for you guys to buy it. But because I bought this from ShopCinemark.com, I had it sent to me and it ended up coming in this box, okay? Now I've already measured the box out for you guys. It's 10 and a half inches long by 8 inches tall by 9 inches in depth. So that's how much shelf space you're going to need if you're going to be displaying this in the box. Right here, let you know it's from the Blue Beetle movie. Ages 8 plus shows you the actor right there playing the Blue Beetle, the name of it, which is called the Bug Ship Collectible Popcorn Popcorn Container, and it holds up to 130 ounces of popcorn, okay? Taking a look at the side, you can see the character right there from the movie, let you know it's from CinemarkShop.com or Cinemark Theaters. And right here on the back, you can see that it uh, has a lanyard that it comes with and then let you know that you don't want to submerge this in water, which I don't see why it would be a big deal. This doesn't have uh, any kind of lights like the Flash popcorn bucket or the, um, the Transformers Optimus Prime popcorn bucket. It says hand wash. Do not use any kind of abrasive cleaners like bleach. Uh, you know, do not put in the dishwasher. Do not put in the microwave and do not put in the freezer. And then right here, this is just a barcode and some other information warning signs for you guys. On the other side, let you know it holds up to 130 ounces uh, of popcorn. It has hinged wings, translucent eyes, and a fabric, a fabric lanyard. Let's go ahead and pop this out of the box, okay, guys? Okay, here's this bug shit popcorn container out of the box. It also comes with a little lanyard right here that you guys can attach and carry it around with you. Now, I measured this thing out for you guys. I'm going to measure it with its legs pushed in because the legs do articulate out. And when they do come out, they end up making it shorter. So at its highest point, it's seven and a half inches tall by 11 inches long by right here at about nine inches wide which it can end up being you know wider if you guys open the legs right here and then it stretches out to about 12 inches so just know that when you guys are displaying that on the shelf that if the legs are open that it ends up being shorter and it ends up being wider and if you guys you know close the legs it ends up being a little bit taller but not too much as you guys can see right here on each one of these little joints that it does articulate only right here it doesn't articulate right here and it doesn't articulate right here. All it does is just, you know, move out like that right there at each one of these. And it has a total of six different legs. And then on the bottom right there, you can see it says Blue Beetle. Let you know that this is exclusive for Cinemark Theaters. And then, like I said, there's no stickers you guys have to place on there, but it does have a, a print right here. I don't think this is a sticker because I can't peel it off or anything like that. I think it's like painted on there or something. It just says Blue Beetle right here, DC Blue Beetle. And taking a look at the eyes, you can see that they are translucent, they are see-through, so you'll be able to see your popcorn through there. And I don't know why they didn't add lights to this, but it's not a big deal. I mean, they don't have to add lights to every single popcorn bucket. It just would have been really cool on here because I think a lot of people who buy this uh, are probably not going to use it for a popcorn container, maybe once or twice, but odds are they're probably going to use this as a vehicle for their Blue Beetle action figures. And uh, I'll show you how that looks as well because I, I have a Blue Beetle action figure. But yeah, other than that, like I said, it does rotate right here. This doesn't pop out. Remember what I said that it doesn't uh, it doesn't want you guys to submerge this in water. Like I said, it doesn't have lights. I don't see why that would be a big deal. Maybe the water or the um, you know dish soap or something like that might end up washing this off. Now to open this, there's no buttons. There's these little turbines right here, but there's no buttons. You guys just push up on it and then it ends up opening like this. And right there is how it looks inside. It shouldn't be too hard to clean this out, even with a rag. It does have this uh, embossed, you know, bottom right here, which I think a lot of people are probably going to end up maybe uh, adding some kind of chairs or something or putting their action figure right in there. But it shouldn't be too hard to clean. You can see right here these wings open on these little hinge joints, but they don't open very far. So, you know, if you're sitting this on your lap and you know you're going to be eating popcorn out of it these little wings are going to be getting in your way a lot that's why i said that i don't think a lot of people are probably going to be using this actually as a popcorn bucket i think they're probably going to be using this as a toy vehicle for their action figures 
But yeah, right here is how it looks from the front with it open. Like I said, some lights would have been really cool, but uh, you know, for 25 bucks, I'm not really complaining. Now when you shut it, you wanna make sure you shut the left side first because this has this little groove right here. And it just, you see these little hinges? They end up snapping right into these little turbines right here. And right there's how they look. Let's go ahead and attach that lanyard real quick. Actually, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with an action figure first, and then I'll attach the lanyard for you guys, okay? Now the only Blue Beetle action figure that I have is this one right here from the Batman Brave and the Bold cartoon TV show. So I don't have any of the multiverse, you know, McFarlane figures or the new Spin Master figures. They just haven't hit my targets or Walmart or nothing like that yet. And I think those are the ones made by Spin Master, the four inch action figures. So I do have a four inch Flash right here from the Flash movie and another Spin Master Batman right here. These are four inch figures. This Blue Beetle from the Batman Brave and the Bold is a five inch figure. So you can just see the size difference right there. Like I said, I do know that the multiverse figures are seven inches, so they might not scale. They're probably not going to scale as well with this figure right here, but odds are I'm probably going to end up using this Batman, the Brave and the Bold one because I do like my Brave and the Bold action figures and he scales really well with this one. He looks really big, like I said, next to the, the four inch figures, but that's going to also be perfectly, perfectly fine too. So for a lot of you guys who end up wanting to, uh, you know, buy those Spin Master Blue Beetle figures that are only four inches, I'm sure he's going to scale perfectly fine. He just seems really short to me. And, um, uh, but then again, I think a lot of, a lot of characters are meant to fit, in, fit inside. A lot of people are meant to fit inside here from what I've seen from the Blue Beetle preview. There's like five or six people in here. So this is probably actually a really good scale for these four inch action figures. But like I said, I'm gonna end up using these five inch ones right here just because they scale really well with my Brave and the Bold uh, vehicles that Batman ends up, ends up having, the Batmobile and the Batcycle and Batcopter and stuff. Now, let's go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like with figures inside of it. Like I said, there's no seats or anything like that. Okay, now this right here is that 5-inch Brave and the Bold figure. As you can see, sitting in the middle, they have enough room. Maybe you guys can add a seat in the front and another seat right behind it. Sorry if the light ain't catching it. These wings right here are blocking the light. But uh, you guys can put two seats right there, or maybe even put three seats in the front and then two seats in the back because even if you put a seat right here it still closes perfectly fine his head doesn't hit the top of this wing right here because it's curved so there's enough room to maybe put three seats in the front two seats in the back for these uh these five inch action figures and it still closes there shouldn't be any kind of issue there let's take a look at this four inch spin master flash figure i know the new blue beetle figures are made by spin master uh in the four inch line so this is how they'll look you guys can sit them deep down in there. Like I said, it makes the ship look really big with these four inch action figures. So I'm probably not gonna end up using those, but I'm sure a lot of other people can. This thing obviously can probably hold maybe, maybe six. If you put six small seats in here, somehow glue them in or screw them in, you guys can fit a lot of these different Spin Master figures. I just don't know how many characters they're gonna make for that Blue Beetle movie. I think just um, maybe one or two different Blue Beetle figures and then the villain. But I myself, like I said, I'm gonna use these Brave and the Bold figures. We'll put Batman in there as well. And it closes. And I'll show you what it looks like through the lenses. Sorry, his legs popped up. He ended up tipping over. But you guys can see him and Batman in there just chilling. So, like I said, I'm probably going to use the five inch action figures personally myself. They do have a Blue Beetle action figure from back in the day made by Kenner. Now, it's not actually part of the Total Justice line, but it 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 looks just like this, basically. But it's the Blue Beetle, so he's painted blue. And uh, I think it's part of the, um, the Justice League of America collection. Uh, so, it, it kind of looks like this, but the packaging looks a little different. Still made by Kenner, and the figure would actually look like that. And I think these are about five, maybe five and a half inch action figures. I don't actually have that Blue Beetle figure, but I'm probably going to buy them to put them in here. So, but yeah, right there is how it looks. Let's go ahead and attach that lanyard, okay? It's about maybe almost three foot long, maybe not even three foot long, but it has these little clips right here, and you guys just end up clipping those on right here just like this ah, just like that there you go sorry almost dropped this bad boy now they are a little bit hard now these things do twist around so you don't have to worry about the cord getting all raveled up 
I'm trying not to break this little plastic piece trying to fit this on here. There you go. Just like that. Yep. And like I said, you guys can walk around this kind of like a, a crossbody bag or maybe even as a backpack. Let's go ahead and test it out. All right. Okay, guys, this is my daughter, TT. She's going to go ahead and demonstrate for you guys what it looks like when you're using that lanyard and you have it wrapped around your waist. Go ahead and say hi to everybody, TT. What's up, everybody? <laughs> All right, go ahead and try it on. Now, she stands four foot, six inches. So this is going to be how it looks on a child her size. And you guys can wrap it on the side right there and have it look like a cross body bag. Or you guys can scoot it around and have it look like it's hooked to her back, basically, kind of like it does in the movie, like hooked to your spine. Go ahead and turn back around. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on an adult. I'm about five foot eight. So all you got to do is stretch out the lanyard a little bit longer in order to fit your size. And as you guys can see, it sits right here on my side. Or you guys can scoot it around your back. And that right there is what it looks like. Kind of just hooked onto your back. I'm sure most people are going to probably have it right here in the front. But like I said, depending on how tall you guys are, this does stretch out a little bit longer. And then you guys can just have it right here just like this. All right. Okay, now here's this Blue Beetle popcorn bucket sitting next to some Batman the Brave and the Bold vehicles by Mattel. This right here is that transforming Batmobile. That right there is that Bat Cycle. And these are the five inch action figures. Like I said, I think it fits really well with the five inch action figures. I think the McFarlane seven inch figures might end up being just really too big standing next to this. But um, maybe if you have it flying in the background, it might go really well. But the Spin Master four inch action figures, I'm sure will fit perfectly fine too. I'm just personally gonna end up using these five inch action figures. And yeah, it fits in really well in scale with, uh, with this right here. So that's what I'm gonna be using it for. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you guys already seen the movie because I'm going to be seeing it this weekend. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit of a, a week behind. I was really busy this, this weekend or whatever, this past weekend. But uh, let me know if you guys liked it or not or if you guys are going to end up purchasing one of these. Uh, like I said, the only issue that I think I have with it is that the wings that pop up, that, that they do hinge, but they just fall right back down. They don't stay up. You have to hold them up. So when I'm trying to eat popcorn out of this thing, it might end up causing an issue for me, you know, getting in the way, the wings getting in the way of my hand, trying to eat my popcorn. But I knew I was going to be buying this for my action figure. So, but yeah, man, until then, stay cool, guys.